What is up everybody? Is this the end? The end is near, my motorcycle riding friends. Ah, uh, I don't know man. Like, yeah, I missed the gear there. Like, I, I don't winterize my bike. Um, just because it's Michigan, like today it's 50 degrees, but tomorrow's gonna be like 30 degrees. But who knows, next month it could be like fucking 70. Um, we, we'll never know. <laughs> Pure fucking Michigan, right? Man. So, done a little work to the old scoot scoot. Got some uh, motocross style pegs and the Arlen Nest big sucker air filter and the biggest thing is the uh, Patriot Genesis spring upgrade for the front end we'll see how that goes yeah, just took that bump pretty good didn't bottom out like usual so I guess we're good all right, back on to topic. The end is near, or is it? <laughs> when I say the end is near, I mean the end is near for riding season. Granted, we are almost through November into December here. Like a week or so ago, it was 70 degrees and sunshine and here we are dealing with 45 degrees still sunshine but uh, I got my uh, riding pants on my big boots on leather big gloves no American flag gloves this time sorry guys unless I can find them in uh, big leather size As of right now, I cannot, so... Whee! Seems to handle a little better. Let's see... Da -da 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 -da. I don't know, man. To each their own, I guess. A lot of guys here in Michigan will sit there and, uh... bikes away for the winter and winterize them and you know basically call it a season I don't like doing that like I wish I lived somewhere warm where you could ride year-round like Florida and all those states you know southern states I should say but the thing with Michigan it's like yeah it's only warm like three four months of the year but fuck is it beautiful and you know, I like we really are lucky to have such like a beautiful state with like a 10 minute drive to the beach like no matter what oh man I just love it so like I love to hate it the reason I say the end is near is because I got to take this old girl down in the next week or two and do some serious front end work and hopefully some rear suspension work you know basically get her dialed in for uh, next spring kind of thing now granted last year on Christmas Day I was out cruising around at 60 degrees so who knows maybe this year I'll be out riding around on Christmas Day or there'll be snow ha <laughs> I was thinking about making a video like a riding in the snow not like heavy snow but I think it'd be kind of funny my only concern with that is is here in Michigan they salt the roads so flipping bad that it makes it uh, a little difficult to take your bike out unless you can wash it like right away because I don't want that 
salt and road grinding bullshit all over my bike, you know what I mean? And granted, I did get some S100 that was rec recommended to me by a good friend. Um, if you've never used that shit, I mean, I'd say it's good if you're like wanting to do like a quick wash or whatever and don't feel like taking uh, a really long time to scrub and detail every little piece and part. That shit, you just spray it on there and rinse it off and boom, your bike is clean. Now I am not endorsed by anybody or anything. It's just a good product and I uh, figured I'd share with my friends. But yeah, I don't know, man. Like part of me wants to just fucking ride you around. Cause at what point is it not fun anymore? When you have to bundle up like a fucking kid off a Christmas story to go out and uh, you know just go for a scooter ride you know it's like fuck I don't feel like bundling up like the abominable snowman just to go out for a ride for 20 minutes as much as I love it sometimes you just gotta you know weigh your options and I mean I guess like the best part about winter time would be uh, the build times, you know? Like that's something that you Flor Floridians <laughs> don't have. And, and that is like, you know, the, the building the bike over the winter time in the garage, you know, hanging out with your buddies, drinking beer, got the, got the radio playing, you know, you know, just good times, shenanigans and, I'm sure I'll make some videos of that. I attempted to make videos of that last year, but <laughs> yeah, none of that footage got aired and there's a reason for that. I won't go into details, but hoping this year to uh, get some footage of uh, some garage time, maybe some how-to videos. I don't know, I'm gonna be starving for uh, content this winter, so. You know, who knows, I might make videos on how to wipe your ass or something. This is all to properly wipe your ass so you do not get muddy bowls. Nobody likes muddy nuts. Oh, man. If I could YouTube full time and like ride my motorcycle and make videos, that'd be awesome. But the reality is, is I'm a dude in Southwest Michigan who makes some okay-ish videos, you know. I've noticed that in order to make it on YouTube you need to either know somebody, <laughs> be friends with a famous YouTuber to where you can cameo in their videos, or be a hot chick. Like I see this one girl, I'm not gonna say her name, but she is a very attractive woman and like she made a YouTube channel on a you know whim or whatever like I'm gonna make a YouTube channel her content isn't that great like I tried to make it through a couple of her videos and you know it takes a lot to get my videos aren't that great but and I'm not knocking anybody she's doing it but her content's like average content and it's, you know, audio is not, you know, she does voiceovers because she doesn't have a, uh, a mic set up or anything like that. She's got kind of a dry personality, but what she does have is a giant set of fake boobs and a tiny little waist and overnight she's got like fucking 10,000 subscribers because, you know, she's a hot little blonde bombshell on that. You know, sex sells, I guess. I don't know. This kind of sucks when, like, I I make videos every week and try to do what I can to make content, and I've got 14 subscribers and whatever. So we're gonna hit Redbud Trail. Probably one last time. I don't know if I'm going to be out this way anymore this year or not. Just because.
dive in that corner. Now I can say, I just hit that corner at 70 miles an hour. And I can honestly say that, man, this thing stuck to the ground. Like, I haven't done the rear shocks yet. That's uh, on my list of winter projects. Mainly it comes down to money. But those Patriot fork ins inserts with the dual springs, uh, I can say just by hitting that corner, holy crap, dude. Like, this bike has never handled that great because it's a wide glide. So it's got kind of a raked out front end. So you know, in, in corners and stuff, it, it really doesn't do that great of a job. Being a Dyna, you know. But, holy crap, just going through that fucking corner just now. What do we got going on here, guys? Alright, cool. Motorcycle friendly people. What's up, guys? Give be the nod, man. The party people. But yeah, so just in that little bit of a, a corner there, I could already feel a pretty big difference as far as front end goes. Uh, it, it didn't feel like it was diving at all. Like it, it stayed pretty firm but yet seems to handle pretty well. It's hard to say with the uh, stock pogo sticks on the back of this thing whether, you know, it, it's an incredible difference or not. We're probably gonna go with the uh, Legend Revo A series shocks. And I know it's probably gonna make some people angry but uh, I'm gonna go with a 14 inch shock in the back and jack this thing up like a monster truck. And uh, I'm gonna run out. I've already got them ordered. I'm gonna put some Fat Bob uh, triple trees on this old girl to take some of that rake out of the front end, jack it up. And uh, hopefully it'll be a canyon carving beast. But I'll also be able to, you know, adjust the rear shocks on the go so if I want to take the old lady on a road trip you know I can make some quick adjustments we can hit the road and uh, be in comfort or if I'm out carving corners by myself I can adjust it for that or if I want to go out for a luxurious cruise along the lake shore I can do that too Oh man, I'm gonna miss this. The reason I say I'm gonna miss this is I probably won't venture out this far again until uh, springtime. It is because I always gotta keep in mind the further away from home you get, the further away from home you get. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense if you're out riding. Uh, bomb it. Bomb it, bomb it, bomb it. Woo! Hey, what up, dog? One handy. One handed. Whoa! I plan on making as many videos as I can throughout the winter to hopefully uh, keep people interested. I know it's really hard to do without being able to go out and shoot photo vlogs. But, hey, you know, I'm going to do what I can to try to keep this channel going. My goal is to upload at least one video per week for a year. And I think so far I'm like three months in. And right now it's not bad because I can come out here like this and shoot some video. But, uh, unfortunately, 
this beautiful weather isn't gonna last. Okay, fuck it. Maud, we gotta go 40 miles an hour in a 55. On this Friday afternoon, Maud. 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 Well, I think. Ow. Yeah, I definitely got to do the rear suspension. But is the end near? I believe it is. Because uh, I'm already starting to get kind of chilly. I mean, I didn't really dress that warm. I dress warmer than usual, but, you know. The funny thing about today is it was like 62 degrees this morning but as the day goes on it's getting colder and now it's I think upper 40s and it's I guess supposed to progressively keep dropping as the day goes on bum 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 that's unfortunate because you know getting to be uh, mid-afternoon towards late afternoon and uh, yeah I can I can feel the air temperature getting colder the further away from home I get so oh well the riding is riding my friends I think I'm gonna end this here at the uh, red bud red bud those of you who don't know, I race motocross here and there. Um, I always forget to say this at the beginning of the videos, but my name's Jay Star, or Joe from Jay Star Rides. Uh, if you're new here, go ahead and click that like button, hit that subscribe button, and every time I release a new video, uh, you'll be notified. If you hit that little bell icon thing, and a bing. But hey, you know, give me a like, give me a share. Give me a watch, give me a chance. Um, I'm not the greatest or the funniest, but I will try to entertain you. Until next time, folks, I will talk at you later.